The DNA that is in all of us uh, from literally uh, the time of conception, the sperm and the egg come together, that forms the individual. There is a pattern of DNA that we present for the entire individual life. That information is very important and could have a lot to do with the uh, risk of, uh, of cancer, for example. The other type of DNA we're talking about is the type of DNA that is particularly unique in the individual cancer, uh, mutations that might have occurred that drive that particular cancer onward. I think it is very useful to call uh, what we're doing in the tumors genomic tumor assessment because it really gets down to the point we're talking about. We're, we're not sort of guessing what we mean by the genes, we're talking about the genes that are present, that are unique in a tumor. Molecular testing, even though we didn't know what it was called, and that's a new term, is something we've been doing for a long period of time, specifically looking at what it is in a cancer cell that makes it unique, and we might be able to attack it specifically. What's important here is to understand we are talking about two very different types of DNA. I personally would use the term genetic, uh, referring to the genes that are present in individuals since birth, a genomic to describe the uh, tumors, uh, the, the genes that might be unique in a tumor, but that is certainly not a convention that's accepted by everyone and it adds to some of the confusion.